There are reports tonight that negotiators are nearing a deal for the release of dozens of hostages held by Hamas. No agreement in place yet. U.S. officials said today we're closer than we've ever been. Hamas abducted close to 240 people, including some Americans, on October 7th. Israel claims that a captive soldier was executed this weekend. The war still rages on in the region, and the United Nations Secretary General is calling for a ceasefire now. Within the span of 24 hours, two schools run by the U.N. were hit by blasts, but the U.N. could not confirm what caused the incidents and who was responsible. As this unfolds overseas, activists here in Missouri continue to rally both for Israel and Palestine. The latest set of rallies happening today in St. Charles and Clayton. Five on your side's Laura Barczewski brings us the efforts from both sides calling for peace. Bring them home! Bring them home! On Sunday, hundreds marched in St. Charles in solidarity with Israel as the war with Hamas continues. Well, I'm a Christian and I believe that we should be standing with Israel in um, all aspects and praying for Israel and supporting them as uh, this is um, their land and uh, this is God's land and the same God that I serve. Their main mission, to call for hostages to be released. According to NBC reports, 236 people are still being held hostage in Gaza. I'm here to support Israel, to support the truth, and to bring them home. We want the uh, hostages back, safe and sound, and to bring peace, please God. In Clayton, hundreds more gathered in Shaw Park to support Palestine. Our imprisonment. The unjust occupation of our land. Protesters are calling on elected officials in the U.S. to use funds to help those under attack on the Gaza Strip. We are here as we are entering the sixth week of war to protest Israel's bombardment of the Gaza Strip, the genocide that they are currently imposing upon the Palestinian people within the Gaza Strip and within the occupied West Bank. And they say they'll continue their efforts here as long as it takes. And it blows my mind that um, this is even allowed to happen. So we are not resting until um, Gaza and the West Bank are free. They're demanding a ceasefire as the death toll in the war surpasses 13,000 people. We will not stop until we get a ceasefire, and we are going to get a ceasefire. Reporting in St. Louis County, Laura Barczewski, five on your side. According to the World Health Organization, Al-Shifa, which was once Gaza's main hospital, is no longer functioning as a medical facility and is now a death zone. Israel says Hamas has been using tunnels underneath the hospital.